Reagan, from the moment I met you, my world has been a roller coaster. Full of highs and lows. Through the six months of leaving you for basic training, to turning around three months later, leaving you again to a distant land of uncertainties. But through it all, you stood by me. From the late night calls and days where you could not talk to me or hear my voice. I promise you though, when those nights were long and the days were cold, you were the only thing that kept me stable. Dear P, today marks the start of a new chapter. It feels so strange that it's finally here. I literally can't believe that at the end of today, you'll be my husband. Life has thrown us some crazy curveballs, but there is no one else that I'd want by my side than you. The picture of you that I kept in my helmet reminded me of what I was fighting for and what I was going to come home to. I vow to continue to keep those same values in this marriage. Today, I promise to love you with all my heart as I have the past few years. I promise to be there for you when things are tough and to show you the love that the Lord has shown me. I promise to hold on to this love while you are away for future deployments and to be your constant supporter. Don't cry. Don't cry. Yes, I do. Oh, God. Nope. Oh, I told her, I told her, uh, the only thing she's getting me to cry was, I cried last night because she gave me a picture of um, me and her. I was in uniform. It was my papa, my papa. He, uh, he didn't get a chance to see me in uniform or be here. Um, he passed before I left um, for basic and joining up. But it was really special because I got a flag. I got his, I have his burial flag, ceremonial flag, and it's in there. Um, but yeah, it was really special. I cannot thank you enough for making me laugh when I'm falling apart and for being there when I feel completely broken. Thank you for continuing to love and pour into this relationship. Even when you're halfway across the world, you still find time to remind me of why I said yes to you. It was definitely a celebration worth waiting for. All we could hear were cheers of applause as that bus rolled in as they welcomed those soldiers home after more than 333 days. And if you could have been here, you would have seen they couldn't get to that bus fast enough. This feels crazy. Yeah, I'm getting married. I know. Usually, I'm the one that says that. I'm getting married. Whoo! This is real. I'm gonna try to make it through this without crying. Paul, you have shown me love like no other. Saying yes to your proposal was one of the easiest questions I've ever had to answer. And I know the second easiest question will be, do you take this man? Paul, I do take you and everything that comes along with you. <laughs> wow. This can't be real. <laughs> Paul's a lucky man. He loves me, Dad. He loves me just like you love Mom. I love you. Paul, oh, you've been my constant everything. I love you when you are at your best and when you are at your worst. I will continue to love you for the rest of my life. I cannot wait to marry you and spend the rest of my life with you. I love you far more than you will ever know. I'll meet you at the aisle. I love you, babe. Thank you for being my forever. Beautiful when you're baby, you're more, you're even more beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. Reagan. I vow to hold you close to me in everything we do, to uphold you and support you. I vow to be there for every event, and every, <laughs> every moment in your life. All the things. <laughs> I vow to cherish you, devote my life to you, and always be true. I love you, Reagan Faith, and always will. I love you too. I would kiss you, but I can't, yeah. so here we are. That's not fair, but here it is. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, baby.
Hey, guess what? In two hours, we'll be husband and wife. Yeah, let's, let's fast forward to that. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> that was the sound of the tape, fast forward. <laughs> we are gathered today for the marriage of Paul Daniels and Reagan Gross. She's giving up the best last name in the world to be with you. <laughs> Father in heaven, blessed be your name above all names. We thank you for the opportunity to be gathered here to witness this special moment. As they are about to commit their lives with each other, I ask that you bless them in this unity with faith, hope, and love. Amen. I, Paul, take you, Reagan. I, Reagan, take you, Paul. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded husband. Promising before God, family, and friends. To provide and protect you. To honor and love you to be with you in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others to keep myself to you, as, as long, long as we both shall, shall live. And now, because of the love and vows made this afternoon, and by the authority granted in me as a minister of Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Paul, you can kiss the butt. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Paul Daniels. Time to go. Got it on film. Hey, that's okay. I'm mic'd up, baby. There's a light from a million suns burning through your blood. Feel the rivers run. A window to the hope and wildest truth. It's all. my best friend, my partner in crime, my other half, the one of few I could ever call sister. To you, Reagan, I am so happy for you. I really am. <laughs> One day, I got a letter in the mail, and it was addressed to me from Paul. And as I'm reading this letter, not all was I expecting, um, but in this letter he said, I want to ask the best friend of my girlfriend if I can have your best friend in marriage. And of course, he starts screaming, because I'm like, yes, yes, of course. He's so immediately right back. <laughs> I was like, yes, you can marry my best friend. Just please wait until I get home so I can be there. <laughs> Reagan and Paul, I love you both so much. And I wish y'all the best. And your love is a love that inspires me. And I hope to find for myself one day. And I couldn't be happier for the both of you. And I wish y'all the best at everything. Congratulations to y'all. I love y'all. Hi. You look beautiful. Thank you. Paul, take care of Reagan. Cherish her daily.
Love her as Christ loves the church, a self-giving and sacrificial love. Lead her in a moral and spiritual way. To Reagan, be true to yourself and Paul. Stand by him in all things he has given and will continue to give you his love. Always be true to the one who has forsaken all others to be with you until death. Father, we thank you for the love that is shared in this moment between Reagan and Paul. I ask that you guide this unity in the way that glorifies you in all things. In that way, they will show your love. In your son's name, amen.